With China's missile technology surpassing global standards, one bold question arises. Why is China's missile technology so advanced? Keep watching to uncover the secrets behind China's prowess in missile development. Chan Shuizhen, a prominent figure in the Chinese scientific community, is widely recognized as the pioneer of Chinese aerospace. His significance extends beyond personal scientific achievements to his substantial influence on China's missile technology development, notably through his ballistics theory. This theory not only accelerated China's missile technology progress, but also strategically reshaped the global security landscape. China's exceptional strides in missile technology, spanning ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and hypersonic missiles, have outpaced those of many nations worldwide. This achievement is not merely a result of advanced technology and national support, but also owes much to Chan Shuizhen's contributions in the field of ballistics. Chan's forward thinking and expertise have propelled China's missile capabilities to unprecedented levels in terms of power, range, and maneuverability. However, this remarkable progress prompts inquiries into why China leads in missile technology, the influence of Chan Shuizhen's ballistics on China's missile advancements, and the broader implications of China's missile technology on global security. China stands unrivaled in missile technology, surpassing even the United States. Its arsenal includes not only all types of missiles possessed by the U.S., but also more advanced variants. China's arsenal, encompassing intercontinental missiles, cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles, and anti-radiation missiles, forms the cornerstone of its military strength. Notably, while the U.S. relies on the Minuteman III ballistic missile, it's worth mentioning that a Chinese designer contributed to its design. The Minuteman III, a relic of the past century, pales in comparison to China's intercontinental missiles regarding range, power, and maneuverability. Furthermore, due to its extensive service life, the Minuteman III has faced frequent issues, with recent test launches culminating in consecutive failures. It's fair to say that once the service life of the Minuteman III expires, the United States will lack noteworthy land-based missiles. Moreover, given the formidable strength of the U.S. military, developing a new strategic missile may prove challenging. While the U.S.'s Minuteman III intercontinental missile utilizes solid fuel, it's constrained to launching from missile silos. In contrast, China's DF-41 can launch from both traditional missile silos and mobile launchers, offering versatility across highways or mountainous terrain unaffected by weather conditions. From this perspective, China's secondary nuclear retaliation capability far surpasses that of the United States, not to mention its lead in hypersonic missiles. While the United States grapples with hypersonic missile technology, China has long deployed hypersonic missiles, boasting multiple types. The question arises, why does China lead in missiles? This inevitably points to Chan Shuizhen's ballistics. Dr. Chan Shuizhen's visionary contributions are unparalleled. As early as the 1940s, Dr. Chan introduced the renowned Chan and ballistics theory, which remains the most intricate and unpredictable ballistic trajectory, uniquely emblematic of China. Missiles are typically categorized into two main types, ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. The distinction between them is clear. Ballistic missiles travel through space beyond the atmosphere, where there is no air resistance, enabling them to achieve greater speed and range compared to cruise missiles. However, their flight paths are relatively fixed and are often susceptible to interception by enemy missile defense systems. On the contrary, cruise missiles operate within the Earth's atmosphere, influenced by air resistance, and typically have lower speeds. Consider the Tomahawk cruise missile produced by the United States as an illustration. It has a maximum speed of 0.72 Mach and a range of up to 2,500 kilometers. Nonetheless, a notable advantage of cruise missiles like the Tomahawk is their capability to adjust their flight trajectory during missions, significantly enhancing their ability to penetrate enemy defenses. Chan's innovative ballistics theory combines the strengths of both cruise and ballistic missiles, granting missiles potent firepower, extended range, high velocity, and the flexibility to alter their trajectory mid-flight. This integration makes it challenging for existing global missile defense systems to intercept such trajectories, positioning China's missile technology at the forefront globally.
The Chinese Dongfang series of missiles span a range from 500 kilometers to 15,000 kilometers, serving as a deterrent against the U.S.'s island chain blockade strategy. Presently, China's missile capabilities extend to cover all of America's island chain bases. For instance, the Dongfang 26 targets Guam, the Dongfang 16 targets Okinawa, and the Dongfang 27 can reach the third island chain of the United States. Regardless of the specific missile used, they can swiftly neutralize the so-called island chain blockade of the United States. Additionally, China possesses the Dongfang 21D, tailored for striking U.S. aircraft carrier fleets. This missile mellifies any naval advantage held by the U.S., and building upon the Dongfang 21D, China has developed the YJ-21 anti-IP ballistic missile for deployment on destroyers. These advancements further diminish the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet's survivability. In today's geopolitical landscape, missile technology plays a crucial role in national security. China has made significant strides in this arena, contributing to the protection of its sovereignty. However, the United States lags behind, relying on outdated missile systems like the Harpoon missiles from the 1970s for defense against IP threats. Historically, U.S. missile development was hindered by treaties like the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. Despite its expiration in 2019, progress in missile technology has been slow. In contrast, China has emerged as a global leader in missile technology, with breakthroughs in anti-IP, intercontinental, and cruise missiles. This progress is the result of collaborative efforts between enterprises and research institutions like China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CASC, and China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, CASIC. Furthermore, our nation boasts numerous renowned websites and organizations such as Xinhua News Agency and People's Daily Online, actively disseminating the latest accomplishments in missile technology. Our nation has emerged as the forefront leader in missile technology globally. While we take pride in this achievement, it is imperative to continue exerting efforts to make substantial contributions to safeguarding national sovereignty, territorial integrity, as well as fostering world peace and development. In today's discussion, we explored China's extraordinary advancements in missile technology, encompassing ballistic, cruise, and hypersonic missiles, all attaining a pinnacle in global standards. A pivotal factor contributing to this success is the application of Chan Shuasun's ballistics. Chan Shuasun's profound insights and foresight have steered the course of China's missile technology development, allowing us to maintain a significant edge in the missile domain. Nonetheless, as China's missile technology continues to progress, a sense of concern arises. While these technological advancements bolster national defense, there's also the risk of escalating instability in regional and global security. The proliferation of missile technology could fuel an arms race, potentially leading to conflict and warfare. Therefore, it's imperative to approach missile technology development with caution, foster a responsible attitude, and advocate for collaborative efforts towards global peace and security. In today's world, saturated with information and mounting tension, it's crucial to recognize that the development of missile technology transcends mere technological advancement. It carries profound political, strategic, and security implications. As ordinary citizens, it behooves us to closely monitor these developments and actively advocate for international dialogue and cooperation, collectively striving towards a peaceful and stable global order. Simultaneously, our national leaders are hoped to exhibit greater wisdom and pragmatism in addressing the myriad challenges and risks posed by missile technology development. While safeguarding national security and interests remains paramount, it's imperative to prioritize the maintenance of regional and global peace and stability. This entails resolving differences and conflicts through multilateral cooperation and diplomatic dialogue rather than resorting to unilateral actions or leveraging strength to intimidate weaker parties. True peace and security can only be achieved through concerted efforts and collaboration. Let us join hands tirelessly to cultivate a harmonious and stable international environment. May we steer the trajectory of missile technology development with wisdom and rationality, transforming it into a tool for peace maintenance rather than a source of destabilization. What steps do you believe should be taken to ensure responsible advancement in missile technology on a global scale? 
Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Keep exploring.